Well, uh, this is uh, National Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and uh, I always uh, am open to talk about my experience with prostate cancer, early diagnosis and treatment uh, as a way to save lives. I've been cancer-free for about five years now. Um, I honestly, though, wish that I could say that some of these options that are out there now were available to me. They weren't, so you should be excited about this. Dr. Reza Shirazi joins us here from Genesis Healthcare Partners this morning to uh, talk about and we're going to talk about these things all month long and talk about the latest things out there. But we're going to talk about something called CyberKnife and Calypso. Sure. For me, the option after I was diagnosed really was a full prostatectomy. It was radical surgery to totally remove the prostate. That was really my best option at the time. CyberKnife wasn't available to me. Explain to folks why this is so incredibly exciting. It, it is... Um, it, as you said, an amazing technology. It, 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 it got invented uh, from the technology NASA and the robotic system that allows a linear accelerator to be moved with millimeter precision to come and artificial intelligently track the movement of the prostate and deliver radiation in whatever part of the body, including the prostate, with a millimeter precision. So as a patient, if I'm, if I'm laying there on the treatment table, and you're pointing the uh, the cyber knife at me, and again, there's no cutting. Let's let's no, let's be very clear. Exactly. This is not actually a knife. It's a it's a term cyber knife, but it's just it's it's pinpointing the radiation treatment. I can actually be moving slightly, exactly. and because of the combination of this calypso technology and the cyber knife, uh, this thing just pinpoints, just miraculously pinpoints, and only puts the radiation on the the cells that are bad that we want to get rid of. Beautiful. So uh, Calypso, I'm going to separate it because it's a different technology with this one, and we'll talk about that a little bit. But with CyberKnife, you're right on the money. Let me make it even more difficult. Imagine we were treating a tumor that is in the lung, and your, you know, your respiration, the tumor is moving up sure, and down. Sure, while you're breathing. Exactly. So this technology allows the camera of the system, which is the eye of the system, take a picture of the, where the tumor is in different respiratory cycles, focus on it, transmit the information to the computer that talks to the arm of the system, which is the robot, and point at that area and move with the patient during the respiratory cycle and deliver the radiation with very tight margin. And hence the reason of cyber knife radio surgery, even though it has the word surgery, it is not surgery, but the margin of cutting is just like a blade if the surgeon were to make a cut. It's so, millimeter. and this is so important because, uh, you know, as, as folks know, and again, we're going to have these really frank discussions this month, and we're going to be uh, very open about this so we don't uh, beat around the bush and, and confuse people. Uh, there's very sensitive nerves that surround Absolutely. the prostate, and they have to do with sexual stimulation and function. You got it. Guys are very concerned about those being damaged, and if at all possible, a, a surgeon will try to not damage those nerves, but with the conventional surgery, with the actual knife and the cutting, it's very, very difficult to do. Absolutely. The cyber knife is revolutionary in that regard, and then it can bypass those nerves and just target the tumor. Uh, correct. So with surgeons, prior to invention of nerve sparing prostatectomy, sparing those nerves, those nerves were taken out. Radiation doesn't affect the nerves as much. What we worry about are critical structures in front of it, which is the bladder, the prostate sits ah, here, right. and the rectum in the back of it. So the margin that it touches the bladder and touches the rectum becomes more of a critical issue. The damage to the nerves are not as critical because you can try to spare them and radiation doesn't affect the nerves as much. So absolutely, the side effect know, portfolio know, I, is a little different. I don't know if folks can tell how excited I get yeah. about this, being able to share it with people and, and let them know that, hey, it this is, is, this is an, you've got to talk to Genesis Healthcare Partners about this this option. And now, Calypso, what's yeah. different about so that? So th that's, uh, I I'm happy to report that we can actually, uh, you can see the picture right there, Calypso treatments, you can deliver radiation with a GPS system within your body. Imagine the GPS system of your car. It transmits a signal within this device 10 times a second reporting the position of the prostate so you can actually track the movement of the prostate 10 times a second. It is the only real time image guidance and I'm happy we're the only facility being so, able to deliver this. Now do you put, you put little tiny sensors in the prostate it's, and it's almost, 
it's mildly invasive. It's very mildly invasive. You got it. It's not much more than uh, less than maybe even a uh, biopsy. A biopsy would yeah, be. Yeah. So it, it, absolutely, it's an outpatient procedure. We place three transponders. Those are radio frequency transponders. So it's a passive transponder. What it means is it doesn't emit the signal all the time. You have that array that was shown on the screen sending the signal to them and they talk back. They say, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. And that they do that 10 times a second. You can actually know where the position of the prostate is as the gas fills, you know, some things, peristalsis, the gas moves, the bladder fills, you're taking a deep breath in and out. This, there is movement. And we actually track that movement 10 times a second and deliver the radiation. All of this, what it means is less collateral damage because of the accuracy of the targeting and uh, it, it is really cutting edge technology. All right, uh, as Dr. Reza Shirazi, it's Genesis Healthcare Partners. You have locations all over San Diego, uh, convenient to everyone. Folks, early detection and then the cutting edge treatments, if you are diagnosed, there's no need to panic, no need to think that uh, life is over. This is such a treatable disease and this latest technology at Genesis Healthcare Partners uh, really allows them to do some amazing things. Doctor, thanks for coming in and sharing. Thank you. We'll Mark. see you uh, hopefully uh, more throughout the month here as it's Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. I appreciate it. All right, Thank thanks you. for coming in. All right, for more information, you go to sandiego6.com, you click on San Diego Living.